Acid mine drainage, or AMD, is the flow of polluted water from old mining areas. The water contains high level of toxins and other heavy metals. This contaminated water often pollutes water supplies as it spreads underground and flows into streams and rivers. Here in South Africa, this problem has existed for centuries and government is seeking long-term solutions. It has been determined that the impact of the mines on the water resources and the resultant challenges of AMD cannot be avoided and left unattended. More so, given the socio-economic impact of these basins and the potential we have to unlock significant flows of water that could contribute to the water mix of South Africa. We are among the 30 driest countries in the world. Do you know that our rainfall is on average, on the lower scale, half of the average of the world. We have to be more innovative, more deliberate, and actually more excited about solving our issue of water. The plant, the largest of its kind in the world, cost billions of rands. This is a significant investment by government aimed at guaranteeing our water future in support of our economic and social needs and as a means to promote the economic inclusions, the inclusion of, the Af of Africans, women, youth and people with disabilities in the mainstream economy of our country. Through this intervention, Mokonyani says her department has been able to prevent an environmental catastrophe while protecting underground water resources. The country is in the grips of a devastating drought that has for the last three years threatened our national water security. We must continue to encourage adaptation to the new normal, that of using water wisely and responsibly with an emphasis on using less for both domestic and industrial users. The treatment of acid mine water is part of government's plan to secure the water future of Gauteng for the next 30 years. Yulisan Jamela, CGTN, Springs, South Africa.